Hello, this is Haku the Bean. Please like, comment, and, and subscribe to the channel when you're done watching this very short video. Today we are record we are talking about SAP 54. Also known as the water nymph. Item number SCP-54 Object Class Safe Special Criterion Procedures Subject is held in a watertight isolation room outfitted with specialized climate control equipment. An ornate fountain filled with water stands in the center of the enclosure. Bandits personnel are required to wear NVC suits while inside the container area and must spend the, and 10 minutes in a special drying room after exiting. In the event of a breach, the surrounding area should be evacuated and enclosure flushed with ni liquid nitrogen. The found's chemical levels and volume are to be monitored and maintained. Spring water from blank should be used as SCP-54 is highly sensitive to hydrological conditions. SCP-54 has has developed a mistrust for human males during its confinement. Thus, assignment of female personnel is recommended. Description Out of the water, the subject most often appears as a female humanoid with a mean volume of 90 liters, comprised entirely of water. Other forms are possible, commonly geometric shapes. When it enters the body of water, it becomes indistinguishable from its surroundings. The subject must periodically return to a body of water in order to maintain its volume due to evaporation. Initially found in blank, it was moved to Site 08 for further study. The subject was initially cares about foundation for its now seems to enjoy interacting with maintenance staff and researchers, and mimicking their forms. After a number of weeks, the creature apparently felt comfortable enough to rain out of the water or during routine monitoring, though it retracted Retreat when attempts are made to study its composition. SCP-54 is composed of normal water with no detectable dis differences compared to ordinary spring water from the same source. No thermal, electromagnetic, biological, or other phenomenon has ever been detected in its body. That would suggest how it animates. Water lost by SCP-54 due to ev evaporation exhibits no special properties when condensed. Experience and experiments with SCP-54 were halted following data expunge to researchers injured. After this incident, containment and protocols were updates. Shortly thereafter, exhibited signs of mistrust and aggression around pers male personnel, which made up the majority of the original research staff. Subject reclassified as Euclid. Hmm. What's a good voice to give uh, the people, the researchers who did these very cruel experiments? <clears throat> While well, last experiment, Santa becomes withdrawn and inactive when the night access to water. Its compact shape is there as a reduced surface area exposed to evaporation. For the first few days, it moved eagerly to greet anyone on entering its enclosure, and we had excitedly, possibly indicates an understanding by the subject that we control its access to water supplies. Subject ceased its behavior yesterday, presumably in recognition that no help was forthcoming. Yeah, I gave them an I gave a, 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 an Enso voice. I mean, it's pretty cruel cool what these people did. Temperature Extremes Testing We got authorization to attempt sub-zero testing this morning. The subs became lethargic as the temperature fell and froze completely after blank. Spectroscopy of the ice crystal revealed no abnormalities. Ice chips were collected for study. This is in stark consistent to his behavior in the 95 degree test when it became aggressive and attempted to escape its enclosure. We submitted a work order to combine the climate control equipment with the subject's standard enclosure. 
As has begun to resist efforts to transport it to experimental t chambers with increasingly desperate behavior. Memory and Conditioning Evaluation Sandrick has a proven unexpectedly adept at navigating complex mazes and solving puzzles. Dr. Sesko has finally overcome the problem of mobbing the subject by the application of electrical shocks and or silicon discants. He joked that uh, we should have trained it to fetch in no time. After observing his methods, I think you might be right. Note, subject to be allowed a 48 hour recuperation period. It seems to be lagging in its progress at the end of this week's uh, of the week's experiments. Asset slash Space Incorporation experiment, the last log entry before I assume this person got what they deserve, in my own opinion. I am starting with a 0.5M HCI a solution. I have no idea what will happen. But if this thing incorporates homeostatic mechanisms like I suspect, then we would get some insight into how it maintains its form. <laughs> Temperature in the enclosure has been lowered to 278 Kelvin to help control for the force increasingly erratic behavior. Her behavior is only erratic because she's been an, uh, and systematically ab abused and uh, tortured by these two individuals. Addendum 54b. After five years with no incident, and subject rating has been downgraded to safe on recommendation of Dr. Blank. Experiments will resume under the, the auspices of Biology Unit 7. U7. Caution should still be exercised when interacting with subject. That's odd because... Oh wait, no, it is still safe. Okay. <sighs> So that was SCP-54, the water nymph, a person made out of water. They usually take the form of a, a female hu human, but they can take any form they wish. I think the main takeaway from this is don't abuse your anomalies. They don't like that. I'll see you tomorrow for something that I just quite can't remember what it was.